Hi, in this problem we're going to multiply. We have the square root of three times the cube root of nine. So we want a single radical here. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to express both of these factors in terms of a radical whose order is the least common multiple of the orders here. So there's a two here because it's a square root. So the least common multiple would be six. So basically we have to write both of these as uh, a sixth root. So first let's do the square root of three. So we have the square root of three. There's really a one here and there's a two here. And that's really three, the one over two. But we can think of this as three to the three over six, right? Because we can just multiply by three over three. Likewise, the square root of nine or rather cube root of nine is nine, there's a one here, and it's one over three. And basically this is the same thing as two over six. Because we can multiply one over three by two over two, you get two over six. So now we can combine what we have to do this problem, right? We have the square root of three times the cube root of nine, that's the same thing as three to the three over six times nine to the two over six. And so now what we can do with these is we can write this as the sixth root of three cubed times the sixth root of nine squared, right? Because this six always goes on the outside and now we can write everything here as a power of three. So this is the sixth root of three cubed, sixth root of, this is th three to the fourth because nine is three squared and it's being squared. So this is three to the fourth. Now we can multiply through these roots. So this is the sixth root of, you add the exponents. So it'll be three to the seventh but you can write that as three to the six times three, going a little fast. And that way these cancel. And so we end up with three times the six root of three. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Went that went kind of quickly there, but hopefully uh, it's made a little bit of sense. So first you basically have to take each of these radicals and uh, write it uh, as a um, radical that has uh, the same number, right? You want the same number. So just use the least common multiple. So two times three is six. Your goal is here, six, six. Then we took our original problem and then we wrote it as six roots. And then we multiplied through and then we wrote something as power of six so we can get rid of it. And then we ended up with that. That's it. Good luck.